Hello everyone. So welcome to this session. And as you all know that now gate twenty five is almost I will say six to seven month away. So in that case, definitely in this scenario, you all guys are planning for complete strategy for the gate twenty five to get your best track. Now to achieve your best rank in the six to seven month, definitely you need a best plan. You definitely you need a better plan to do it. So in order to do that, in order to do that, what I am going to do, I am going to help you for planning in the six to seven month for your gate preparation. So first of all, understand this part very carefully. First question which comes in your mind that is it possible to get best rank under hundred rank in six to seven month? So I am just telling you my story in that case. Every most of the faculty, or if you see, ask me, na, uh, most of them first time when they have prepared for gate, na, they have started either in June or July, like that only. Late, late they have started. Actually, five, six year back, seven year back, when we were doing the preparation, that time starting from July was a trend only. It is not something like you are late or all. So first thing, which is very much, you have to show in your mind that it is possible. It is possible. to get the best rank for gate 25 in this 6 to 7 month the next thing is that how how we are going to do that first of all when you are planning this 6 to 7 month na plan month wise like for example right now july month is going on so you can take half uh, 15 days of july then august then september like that we have till december till december you have to plan so you have to plan in a such a way that december will be the last month to complete your subject after the summer the january month we are com- completely leaving it for the revision practice as well as giving the test series and mock test so for that we are leaving it so we have half part of july then august september october november and december these month we have for the preparation now first of all what you have to do in a notebook write all the subject name and try to make a combination of subject combination of subject means what for example parallelly two subject you have to one subject you can take it as theoretical one subject you can take it as numerical like that you have to maintain it for example i am telling you some combination which you can make while preparation or while planning when fluid mechanics is going on small subject like ocf you can attach with so two subject you can go parallelly for example geotech is going on so parallelly you can start a small subject uh, i will say small uh, skill subject like hydrology irrigation you can start with that or sometime bmc or cpm point you can go with that som if you have started with the combination like cpm part you can definitely go with that bmc you can go with that so one subject will be the bigger subject like som uh, geotech or environment these are the subject basically high weightage subject so environment geotech transportation strength of material rcc these are the bigger subject so with this subject you have to always attach a small subject so one big subject one small subject if you are attaching it what will happen you will have always ample amount of time for the practice revision as well as short notes making because these all things you need to do it next thing which you have to make in your mind when i say one subject is completed when i will say that five points i am telling you when your class notes is ready that means you have covered all the class and then you have prepared your own notes class notes second thing revision and short notes daily revision you are doing whatever you have studied today definitely tomorrow you are revising it so revision plus short notes making parallel you have to do it that is the second part third thing is the ppp that is a daily practice sheet which we are providing for each and every subject as well as the weekly test that means for each and every subject for each and every topic you have to solve ample amount of question in order to get the full clarity i hope you got that point fourth point is the gate and esc pyqs so once uh, you have covered those dpp and weekly test everything is covered then solving pyqs and gate and esc pyqs is very important for all of you and last thing which i am putting it is the test series topic wise test we have subject wise test we have then multiple subject test also we have then the last one is the full length test so all these tests you have to give in a sequence sequence ways sequence will be like first topic wise test you have to try then subject wise test you have to try then multiple subject test you have to try and the last one is the full length test you have to try so in this sequence you have to go it all these point you have to tick mark if all these point you have completed then you can say okay this com- this subject is completed from my side next thing comes while doing the plan while making a plan for gate uh, 2025 in the 6 to 7 month as you know time is 6 to 7 month it is a fixed time for all of you 
So first start with those subjects which are high weighted subject. I'm just naming few subjects like in technical subject if I talk about geotech, environment, strength of material, then highway. These are the bigger subject which you need to complete it before. All subject you have to complete, every subject we have to complete, but my, my suggestion will be that these subjects complete first because these subjects you are going to get almost I will say 14 marks from geotech, 14 to 15 marks, 10 to 12 marks from environment, around 8 to 10 marks from highway part. So these part, these part will give you almost I will say half, almost 30, 35 marks you will get it from here only. Then. The next point you have to keep in your mind if you are doing six to seven month preparation at least half of this that means two to three month daily two hour or daily two and uh, two and three hour maths and aptitude you have to revise it like maths you can go for daily three hour and whenever you are going for aptitude go for two hour at least in a week two days you have to keep always for maths and aptitude even though the subject is completed, even though you have completed one time the complete uh, syllabus of mathematics, complete syllabus of aptitude, but you know, weekly basis, weekly basis, you can keep those Saturday, Sunday for th those like Saturday morning and Sunday morning, two hour I will give aptitude, two hour I will give maths. This you have to do it for this whole six to seven month. So while planning, while planning six to seven month plan for the gate 25, always on weekend, even though your subject is completed, like if maths is going on, definitely you will give more time for that. That is okay. But once the math is completed for you, still on weekend, two hour aptitude, two hour mathematics, you have to give it. That will be very much required for all of you because you all know that aptitude for sure, 15 marks will come. That is for like for surety that that 15 marks will be definitely there in the gate paper. Similarly, 13 to 15 marks you will get in in mathematics part. Almost sometime 12, sometime 13. So like that again. 25 marks I am talking about including maths and aptitude 25 plus or 25 marks you are going to get from those part so 25 marks from this 35 marks from the high weighted subject which I told you 35 plus 25 it is around 60 marks so easily with a simple preparation with a simple uh, hard work I will say you are getting the 60 mark now the next thing comes because I am giving a plan for all of you to get under 100 rank for K25 so in that case what you can do now the next hard work the next step will come and this step will be done only once these things are completed subjects like deal subjects like ocf subject like uh, surveying subjects like cpm part these subjects are now these subjects are sometimes they come for very very small mark but the small marks actually change the your rank drastically i will say just to four or five marks difference someone will be in nit someone will be in nit just to because just because of four to five marks difference so now the last part will be covering those subjects and that is your last point i will say in this gate 25 planning next ultimate point which i am telling you stick with all those points which i told you while making a plan stick with all those points which i told you next don't don't change the end date of your syllabus completion that i told you december month december month anyhow you have to start you have to discipline in your preparation you have to discipline in your class uh, class schedule in such a way that december will be your last to complete all subject do not leave any subject for preparation why because in a current days if you want to get the best rank you are not allowed to leave any subject in our days uh, people are getting eight, uh, like if they are completing eight to nine subject in a complete way they are getting very good mark they are getting very good rank but now in a current scenario all subject preparation will be very much required to all of you to get the best rank so from the starting your goal should be very clear that i am going to complete all the subject without any doubt there will be a, not even a single doubt in your mind not even a small doubt in your mind that okay no 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 time is less now so we'll go with only eight to nine subject no i want you to complete the thorough complete syllabus and that is practically possible you don't have to worry about this simply what you have to do barely two subject will be there one the bigger subject another one will be the smaller subject one the bigger subject another one will be the smaller subject simple thing if you are going to do that for the next uh, five or six months you will be able to achieve what i am telling you okay and the last point, the three things which generally people don't do while going for complete preparation and all, three things. First thing, they don't prepare their short notes.
because that is going to helpful in the after gate scenario or sometime in gate exam also it is going to help you a lot second thing is the revision and practice revision practice revision practice revision practice in a cyclic way you have to do the revision it is very much required for all of you next thing i will say is the test series start giving test series because test series is not to show this much marks i am getting it test series is to find your mistakes work on those mistakes again revise again practice then go for again test series so this will actually help you to get it, get the best rank of yourself okay so i think this part is clear just for reference i am telling you those who are having doubt ki sir no no 6 to 7 month we cannot plan our preparation just now uh, just to, just for a reference i am telling you just now we have launched a batch for gate english uh, batch and there as you can see i have given you the complete schedule for 6 to 7 month how to those subjects are going to complete in that batch that's something i have shown you so that i am not telling it here already that launch part you know already you have seen that launch session so just a reference i am telling you so it is definitely possible to get the best rank in 6 to 7 month which i am telling to all of you i hope this point is clear to all of you still if you are getting any doubt or if you are feeling any difficulty uh, while making your own plan definitely you can uh, con contact me on message me on my telegram group that is mrigang sir pw that is my telegram channel you where you can put your thought or put your query regarding that plan i will definitely help you personally okay so thank you so much all of you we'll meet again someday uh, till then bye bye take care jai hind